Hey there, I'm Laura Noel, and today I'm going to show you our kindergarten curriculum picks. Let's get started. For Bible, we are going to be doing the indescribable devotions, just a quick little devotion here and there. And then we also are using for kind of our main thing, the Awana Club's handbooks. This is what I did as a child for Awana, and while my daughter can't actually go to the program right now, Hopefully she can soon, and we're just doing it on our own. So we're doing the Cubbies Honeycomb book this year. They're so fun. It's so neat with the, the stories you read and the verses you memorize and everything. We really enjoy Awana. For math, we are using Matthew C. Primer. We are continuing this. Uh, we started it for TK. All these manipulatives, which are really helpful for hands-on. The lessons are pretty straightforward. The handbook, the workbook for her, I just have her do one page a day. Um, that's been working really well, so we're going to continue that. For reading, we are still doing all about reading pre-reading, which is just kind of going over the letters and very slowly doing some activities with that. After we're done with pre-reading, We'll move on to level one. We have that as well. We are also doing beginning reading and phonics with Gather Round, which I will get to in a minute. We have spelling, um, spelling UCA. We haven't started this yet. I'm not sure when she'll be ready for this. It's, it's kind of more advanced. They kind of need to know how to write their letters. And I think we're gonna continue with the basic skills and then she might not be ready for this for till first grade, but if she is this year, we do have it. Science, we have the building, exploring the building blocks of science, activity book, it's just kind of like a coloring book and some basic things. We also have the Timberdoodle Science Kit set that we have been working through. And then we will probably also do a science class with our co-op, which I will most likely be teaching. So she'll be getting lots of science. <laughs> An extension of reading this year, we are actually going to be doing Brave Writers, Jot It Down, Language Arts Plan, and Writing Projects. And I have not fully dip, dived into this yet, but I know she has amazing, amazing ideas and art appreciation and all kinds of things in like this Brave Writer lifestyle. I am just learning about it, uh, but I really, really like the idea of the Jot It Down um, projects where you help them write stories like fairy tales and other things and you write it for them. Like they just talk it out as pre-writers and you write it down for them. And my daughter was so excited about this idea. So particularly for the fairy tale one, that's why I picked up the Ibu Create a Story Cards fairy tale, the fairy tale roll a tail dice, story dice, and the one spot a map book to just kind of go along with that and help spark some fairy tale ideas. For history and geography, history we have beads, beadies, History of Me. We also have BD's History of the US if we somehow get through this and, and need to move on. This is a Christian based curriculum and it's pretty simple, but it kind of gives just a basic idea of history. For geography, we are working our way through Skill Sharpener's Geography K. I love the color and just she really enjoys doing a couple pages of this at a time. And then we have some supplementary like around the world mazes, me on the map, Busburn's big picture book of planet earth and the big picture atlas just to look at and talk and read and just learn all about geography. And of course we got our globe this year as well so that she can just really get that hands-on visual view of the world. For handwriting we have Chani's easy peasy alphabet. She does not enjoy this because she does not enjoy tracing. Um, so I don't really force it, but I try to have her get some practice in there. We may end up trying to find something else um, if this does not continue to work, but we're trying. For thinking skills, we have a ton of workbooks from the past from Timberdoodle. We still have like the Kumon's pre-K, Can You Find Me, Visual Perceptual Skill Building, and Kumon's K-Logic. 
I literally just pull out like one or two pages from these for her to do every week. Like I am not forcing her to do all of this. Um, it's just, it's a lot. <laughs> I actually prefer that she pick a game and just do that. So we have Storytime Chess, Little Red Riding Hood, Smart Farmer, games that I've shown and talked in the past about. She really enjoys the hands-on kinesthetic games. And so if that's how she does her thinking skills, I'm, I'm fine with that too. Even though we don't technically have to start health, I did pick up Horizons Health Kindergarten. Teacher's book just goes through all of these different topics and the kid's book has colorful, fun little activities for them to do. It's not required in kindergarten, but I wanted something that would just give her a basic overview of health and nutrition and this is it. <laughs> in addition to health, I really wanted to do some etiquette, some social, you know, manners, um, kindness, kind of just social graces studies. And so I got Annie's, little Annie's art book of etiquette and good manners. I was born Miss Molly's School of Kindness and Miss, School, Miss Molly's School of Manners, just to kind of go along with that. This year we are starting nature study. I'm so excited. I got exploring nature with children. This is a PDF download and so I haven't printed the whole thing out yet. I will print it and bind it, but I, I just haven't gotten to that. Um, basically she goes through everything by seasons and there's nature walk activities, poetry, art to enjoy, just very Charlotte Mason. Um, I, I think we will really enjoy it and probably will take more than a year to go through it, but I'm not too worried about that as well. We have the, we also got her guided journal so that um, we can start nature journaling really excited. To kind of supplement that, we've got the Little Children's Nature Activity book from Usborn. It's just got stickers and drawings and activities. And then my very first outdoor book to talk about different nature topics. I want to do a little bit of music appreciation. So I got Usborn's Lift the Flap questions and answers about music, uh, just to kind of give her an introduction to music in general. And then hopefully we can do some music appreciation, maybe with our homeschool co-op, we'll see. For art and emotional intelligence, they kind of go together. Um, we've got like draw and learn places, push, pull, empty, full, happy, sad, feeling, glad, which is more emotional intelligence. They're just doodle books. They learn and draw. I can do little rhymes. It's a little more intensive. They have to write their letters. And then draw right now, the first book, just beginner drawing. And the Ibu, what's going on here? Conversation cards for social and logical inference. And then there's gather round. So gather round letters and numbers and ready to read are actual full preschool, kindergarten, and first grade curriculums. They include math, they include the phonics and the reading, um, history, geography, everything is in there. Uh, but I also love Timberdoodle and all these other things. And so what I do is we do a gather around lesson every day. They're so short, so short, so easy. Three little pages in the student activity book. And then we, pull out one of these other subjects. So she'll do either a thinking skills activity or page, a science page or book or experiment, a all about reading lesson or art and emotional intelligence. She does do a math page every day along with the gather round. Uh, but we just kind of loop through those other subjects. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to put in nature study. I think we'll probably just do that one day a week. Um, just to go along with it. I feel like she's getting kind of a full rounded thing. And if we don't finish all this curriculum, it's not a big deal. I am not like trying to go crazy with it, but I do like having a variety. So we have just finished letters and numbers number one. So the next one up is letters and numbers two, which is on the farm. And so it has the teacher's guide and the student book. I haven't printed them out yet, uh, but then I got a couple of extras to go with that, which is the fingerprint draw 
fingerprint, fingerprint and draw on the farm. So a little just hands-on activities that she can do. We've got like the Usborne first reading set, Old MacDonald had a farm. I'll get more books from the library as well. This is the Usborne beginning readers or first readers farm animals. And then Poppy and Sam's farm animals magic painting book. So fun activities that she can do in addition to all the stuff that's in the curriculum. Letters and numbers number three is in the junk line. So these are unit studies as well. So they're about letters and numbers last about three months, I believe, and ready to read is about two months long each. But I also got the jungle, Usborne Jungle Picture Puzzle Book so she can really get some more of that visual input. A first reader about elephants, little story, pandas, monkeys, tigers, and then the Usborne little book and jigsaw puzzles, jungle. It's just another little book about the jungle and then these little puzzles she can do. I try to get a couple of books and a fun activity to go with every unit. Letters and numbers number four is in the air. So I got a little read aloud book about um, hot air balloons and her fun activity is the 100 bugs to fold and fly. It is, you know, these little glider airplane things that she can fold and fly and they're bugs and oh my goodness, she's gonna be so excited. Then we will move on to ready to read one, which is burrows and holes. And I've got an under the ground book. So talking about all these animals under the ground and a fingerprint activities backyard. So more of those fingerprint drawing things. I'm sure I have more books hanging around that will go with it. I just haven't pulled them out yet. And then ready to read two is at the pond. And we got a little reader about ponds. And then a little reader about ant, the ant and the grasshopper story. And again, I'm sure I have more things for that. I just haven't pulled them out yet. There are two more ready to read um, units on the savanna and ice and snow. However, I don't think we're gonna get to them in our kindergarten year. I believe those are gonna be the beginning of her first grade year, unless she somehow plows through all of this and does multiple lessons in a day, which we have not been doing the last few months. Um, I don't expect to get to those. Um, if we do, I will do another video talking about those because I have a bunch of, of activities and books that go with those, but I'm pretty sure this is about it. Um, we also have the whole Usborne, my first readers, my first reading library. And I got just tons of STEM stuff. We've got the think play blocks and the robotist pets and magnet tiles and tons of things for that. In addition to so many materials, if you didn't see my recent homeschooling hauls, I have an Usborne haul, a rainbow resource haul, and a miscellaneous haul, which was Timberdoodle, Amazon, and Book Outlet. So we are stacked for kindergarten. <laughs> so much, so much. Um, I always have to say she's an only child, and so we are leveling up our household. I don't have materials from older children, so I have to kind of bring everything in uh, new or used either way uh, but we are kind of starting from scratch this seems like a lot i know but we do what we want we kind of pick and choose from it and our, our main staples like i said are our math page every day and then a gather round lesson and the reason that we do the math in addition to the gather round even though it has math in it is especially for the letters and numbers like the entire letters and number book number one was focusing on numbers one to five. She's totally mastered her numbers one to five. So we're kind of going a little bit further in math. She's a little bit more, she's definitely more advanced in math than she is in the language arts. And so she really struggles with the phonics and the letters, um, but totally gets the numbers. So that's why we kind of supplement with different curriculums because she's at different levels in different things. And so if you were starting with a three or four year old, um, I think letters and numbers could be completely enough for them, but because she is an older five-year-old, 
she needs more in other areas and that's why we use multiple things and I like I said I still love Timberdoodle and we have the entire Timberdoodle kindergarten kit and you can see my unboxing here of that um, and so most of those materials we are still using we used some of them in TK this last year and then we are going to continue using most of them in kindergarten this next year and that was always the plan we just added in gather around as well which I really love because of the diversity in the lessons and each student activity page is different. I love the connections of the unit study with the multiple disciplines being integrated. So that is our kindergarten picks for this year. Let me know what your favorite curriculum for kindergarten is and we will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.